Hey y'all, let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video if you like to. So we're going to get into this power episode. Oh my God, it was so good. This is the power I've been waiting to see. I've been watching Power since it began. So I thought, why not do a review, my little two cents, on the show. So let's get into it. It starts off with Tasha at her daycare and one of her workers who is doing that extra activity for her comes in and drops off. And it starts off kind of slow. It, then, you know, you do a little recap and then it starts off slow. So then we get into James St. Patrick, Mr. Ghost. Ghost is on a total mission this evening, this episode. Ghost starts off with um, talking to, um, I can't think of the lady name, Tate's manager. She propositions him with running for uh, being someone else's candidate, partner on the candidate. Of course, they want to get the black votes. All politics. Okay. They're in this building uh, Ghost uses to supposedly he wants to purchase. But really, it's all part of the scheme to set up Jason. Him and Tommy have worked out this little scheme. They're going to get Jason off their back. They're going to kill him. But this episode was full of lies and betrayal. So... Ghost checks out the building. Everything works out. He, he, uh, the little connoisseur, whatever. They have some little deal going on. Everything's fine. He leaves there to go meet up with Tasha to go to the parent conference about Tariq. Tasha decides that she's not going to go. What's that back? Or did they meet there first? Tasha decides she's not going to be able to make it because she's still, you know, got her workers coming in, dropping off money, picking up drugs and all this and that. Ghost goes to the conference, the parent-teacher conference, and finds out that Tariq is working in the daycare. Which, he's not really working in the daycare, but he's working for his mama selling these narcotics. Ghost is livid. He goes, he confronts Tasha. Wait, he's so mad. He done broke into her spot. Sitting there waiting for her when she come home. They get into it. He snatches her up. <laughs> he snatches her up. Now, this is the first time we see Ghost actually physically put his hands on Tasha. Even though they've gotten into it before, arguments and stuff. He really snatched her a little behind up. Like, girl, if you don't stop having our son out here selling drugs... So Tasha is like, look, you can't beat him, join him. He's going to do it anyway. He hard-headed. He don't want to listen. He's been doing this. I need to do this this way so I can protect him. Make sure he's okay. Make sure he don't get killed in these streets. So Ghost, you know, Ghost, it's not happening. He's not feeling it. He's like, you know, we've already lost a child. Now you out here, if something happened to him, that's going to be on you. And he threatens her. He tells her, if you don't stop this, I'm going to call and get your business shut down. I'm going to tell him what you're doing over there. Not only does he threaten her, and he snatches her up. She's like, yeah. He snatched her up because she was like, yeah, you know, you sitting up here talking what you're going to do to me. I'll call the feds and tell them you killed Terry Silver. You killed my old boo thing. You got jealous and bumped him off. That's when he lost it. Like, you ain't gonna tell nobody nothing. You better go sit down somewhere. You forgot who you playing with. You playing with the real one. The ghost is on that said with your chest mission tonight. So, he leaves. And he calls Tommy up. Hey, Tommy, everything set? Did you put the gun where I need you to put it? Whatever. Because, you know, they're trying to kill Jason. So, Tommy, yeah. But Tommy, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the whole beginning where Tommy 
takes cash to his father. And I'm like, what's his name? Jesse something? What's that man's name? I was like, why they didn't have him in the show all season? You know, we could enjoy looking at him for a while. So, um, Cash Daddy was on point. I was like, mm, okay, y'all brought us some little eye candy. I'm feeling it. So, Tommy drops off Cash with his daddy. And, you know, yeah, so are you are you going to come back and see Cash? And he's like, I don't know. Tommy's all in his feelings. He was in love with Lakeisha. And he, you know, he's not taking this too well. So he has decided in his mind that Ghost killed Keisha. But we all know that's not what happened. So Tommy decides, I'm going to set him up. And he texts Jason while he's at this new building at the spot meeting with Ghost about uh, him investing in this building for Ghost. That was the front they used. And tell him, hey, Ghost is going to kill you. He's going to kill you, man. I'm like, oh my God, did Tommy really do that? Yes, he did. So now we have Tommy then betrayed Ghost. Tasha and then killed Keisha, and she didn't betray her, because she felt like Keisha was going to betray all of them. And it's just a vicious cycle of everybody thinking that somebody else did it, and everybody sitting up lying about it. So, Tommy tells Keisha, um, Tommy tells Tasha, you know, we got to get rid of Ghost. We got to get rid of him. Did he didn't kill Keisha. And Tasha plays that off so well, like, what? Uh, she gone? I didn't know. So, Ghost and Jason get into it in the elevator. And I'm glad that Jason is gone. Me personally, I was tired of seeing him around. He pulls out the little cord out from the watch. I was like, mm, I guess that's how real gangsters do it. They stay they stay ready. They're going to always have them something on them. Which, you know, they wrestle around and fight in the elevator. And Ghost ends up getting the cord from him and killing Jason wraps the cord around his necks and kills him and he'd already worked it out with the the connoisseur the, the security guard or whatever you want to call him so because Jason I already told him about Dre one holla at him because Dre already know now Dre then told the feds then told police whatever hey just what Tommy me y'all need to go check Check out the uh, the little house arrest thing I had on the monitor and find out the address for the warehouse to get them off his back, leave him alone. So now Tommy, the warehouse has got raided. His guys then got picked up. They looking like, oh, Tommy sold us out because Tommy's standing there. He gets there late because the feds they already picked the police are already picking them up. So they're assuming Tommy. Set us up. House full of betrayal and lies. Now, Tommy's like, oh, Ghost just set me up. Of course, he's, and he's blaming Ghost for everything. Ghost set me up. He did this to me. He didn't kill my girl. Now he's trying to get me locked up. So that's why um, Tommy didn't put the gun when he was supposed to. So that Jason would kill Ghost. But it didn't happen that way. So, go sees the text message uh, Tommy sent Jason and calls Tommy up. Like, man, what you doing? Why would you tell? I thought we had a plan. See, no, you killed Keisha. You killed Keisha. We ain't cool no more. It's over. Man, I ain't do that. So, Ghost ends up going back to his club. Where uh, Congressman Tate decides he want to show up and have a little conversation. He let him know, I know you ghosts and I'm breaking ties with you. But Tate didn't know. They had already propositioned him like, hey, come kick it with us. You don't need him anymore because we need you. So, sorry about that guys. 
and get into it. He's like, hey, if you think I'm this man, <laughs> what's to stop me from killing you? I'm thinking, like, if you really think this man is this hardcore criminal, why would you confront him? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's the smart thing to do. He ends up leaving. And, of course, Tyreek, he want to show his... I'm getting ahead of myself. He ends up leaving. So, the detective... Oh, I can't think of her name. The lady comes with... They show up at Tasha's spot. They want to talk about Lakeisha. And Tasha tells them, I think Patrick Saint, uh, uh, James St. Patrick killed Terry Silva. And I think this is where the body's at. So naturally, they go look, go check it out. And of course, they find Terry in the trunk of the car. The car is open. It's not locked. They find him in the trunk. Body decomposing. And the little crooked little... What was he, an attorney? What was his name, Mark? Um, put a comment down below if you remember his name. Because I can't... His name is something my mind now. He picks up the phone. So I'm thinking, like, why is he getting his phone? I, I'm thinking he's getting the phone to see the call history and this and that. No. That's not it at all. Now, Dre, then I already called Jason earlier. Like, hey, you want me to need a new connect? Because Tommy about to get picked up. I didn't hear through the grapevine. The streets is talking. So, holla at me. And he's like, okay, come, come, we're going to meet up, whatever, whatever. Dre shows up or go send him the text to show up, whatever. Go and frame him, got him looking like he didn't kill J uh, Jason. Which Dre has to be the luckiest person of all. He's been getting away <laughs> with killing folks. Flying under the radar. Even getting trapped and still still alive. He should have been killed by now. Dre is going to be the last one standing. <laughs> so, after all this happens, he goes and tells old boy, you know, look. Go set me up. I need you to help me out. This is all. Uh, you know, he's making it seem like I killed Jason. People then saw me there standing over the body. Whoop -de -whoop, you know, help me out, whatever. He's like, cool, cool, cool. You want me to help you out? Go take this phone and plant it at go spot. This the address. This the hotel he's staying at. Help me help you. Help us put him away from murder. Dre think about it for a while. Okay. Dre's down with whatever. Dre takes the phone. And plants it in the hotel room. So now it starts to get really interesting because Tasha has told Tommy she didn't know what happened to Keisha. She she's so surprised. She didn't lied about it. Um Ghost has played it off like he don't know who Ghost is to Congressman Tate. Now uh what's his name, cousin? Cousin shows up. What's his name? Vinny? Cousin shows up. Proctor's cousin shows up. Like, hey, 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 hey. You told me this person killed my cousin. You lied. He didn't kill him. Who killed him? Because I'm starting to think you did it. Now we see <laughs> Ghost is like, shit, Tommy tried to have me killed. Well, I'm going to tell you, I think Tommy did it. He rats out Tommy. So, of course, the man goes to kill Tommy. But it doesn't end well for him. So, now we have Tommy has killed Vinny. I believe his name is Vinny. I believe, um, if I'm mistaken, tell me his name in the comments below. And now Tommy's like, damn. Now I got this shit to deal with. So, now... We go back to James still at the club, still drinking, still chilling, still trying to figure out how did this turn left. And Tyreek shows up. 
Because Tyreek is mad. Like, you didn't put your hands on my mama. You know that's a no-go. You don't come around here putting your hands on my mama. He comes, he walks in, and throws the black card at him. Like, take, he said, what, 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 what's, this, what's this mean? This means I don't need it anymore. I don't want it. Here you go. They get into it, and they have some words. And as this altercation is going on between father and son, I can't help but to think, is that what happened with 250 and his son? Because we know that there's there's some bad blood right there. And he's like, yeah, you, you may, he said, don't get it twisted. You may have birthed me into this world, but you're not my father. And I was like, ooh, ooh. The Morris was cold. And James like, no, nah, you, you can't talk to me like that. I'm your daddy. You can't talk. I'm still your father. You can't talk to your father like that. He's like, hmm, like I said, put your hands on my mama again, and I promise you, I'm going to take you out. I'm going to be the one to take you out. You ain't got to worry about nobody else. We don't want to see you around no more. And James looked devastated. Like, oh my God, I can't believe my child just told me I want to kill you after everything I done did for you. All the crimes I committed on your behalf. This is how you feel. That was a moving, that was very moving and touching to me. Because, you know, that's how life is. Mama can't do no wrong. She told Tyreek, Tasha told Tyreek to turn, turn him against uh, his daddy. Because she mad, because Terry, because she know he killed Terry. And she mad about it. She wrong, but she, hey, that's how it is. So if you made it this far to the end of the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bells on. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.